All right. Welcome everybody to my favorite episodes, customer success. So today we're going to talk to a certified probate expert and student of the probate mastery course, Brian Wilson, who has also recently purchased and taken and implemented what he learned from the earn or earn attorney referrals now course. So I'm excited to jump into his story and see what inspiration we might find for you guys, especially the over 150 people. This is mid September, 22. And over 150 people that purchased this course have not started the course. So my big goal now is to motivate you guys to actually invest the time and in what you've already invested money in so you can get your return. And hopefully Brian's story can help you guys find the time to actually jump into the course and implement some of this. So Brian, welcome. Hey, thanks, Chad. Glad to be here. Yeah. For context, let's start with where you're from, what you do, kind of help everyone understand who you are. Well, Chad, I've, I'm located in greater Washington, DC. I've been a real estate agent since 2008. Before that, I came to the business from IT. So my background is in IT and I brought a lot of that technology mindset into real estate. And so I developed a different business model here and have been running it on my own brokerage for 10 years. And then I left and joined international brokers so that I could do some referrals. And over the course of time, started running into a lot of estates. And uh, the very first one I did, I had no idea what I was doing. And uh, over time, you, you kind of stumble through a couple of things. And then I saw your program and a couple of other referrals from that. And I was like, this is exactly what I need to accelerate and to add to my business here in the DC area. Great. So you took mastery how long ago? I took mastery within the last 90 days. Okay. So you, you've taken them both. That's awesome. I've taken them both. As soon as I saw the urn right after mastery, I was like, absolutely. That's the way to go. Let's go. Yeah. So for anybody who's not familiar with the probate mastery course, we teach kind of a two pronged approach. The one that most people focus on is direct marketing to the family, to the personal representative, more specifically. That is the, you know, it's the easiest way because you can get the leads from lead providers you can get direct mail, but it's also the most expensive way. And honestly, the most work. The other thing that we teach in there is building a referral network. And that's a, a more sustainable long-term source of business that you don't essentially don't pay for. You pay for it in social capital more than you do in, in marketing dollars. And EARN, the course that we're discussing today, is just a really deep dive on specifically your referral network, specifically the estate attorneys, and how to really go deep with that and make a huge impact. So he, you know, had a brief introduction to the, the referral network and probate mastery. And then when EARN came out, it was like a really focused approach toward just the attorney. So Really curious what, what stood out most to you. I'm, I'm trying to ask as many people this as possible. I mean, I've, I've been really, really great, like blown away by the feedback we've gotten from the course. I'm really curious what stands out the most to you in that. And what was the thing where you're like, holy crap, and took action on it immediately. What was your top takeaway that you've already taken action on? The top takeaway was when you started talking about administrative drag for attorneys, that was the number one thing, because in my previous life. When I was implementing IT, the number one thing we were trying to do was eliminate administrative drag, just the paperwork. We were trying to automate the process for Fortune 100 businesses. And as soon as you said that, it, it just clicked. And so I've been able to take all of that experience that I had with the technology, implementing software, et cetera, and just rolled it right into my conversations with attorneys. And attorneys very much like the real estate business. When I got into it, there were very few people who were high on tech, lots of paperwork, lots of manual processes, lots of putting it in a folder. Give me this paper, this, this here and there. When I started talking to the attorneys, which was the very first thing I did was I said, all right, I know six attorneys and I know two title attorneys. And I picked up the phone and I said, Hey. Who is the best state attorney that you know that I need to know? They all gave me somebody. So I've, I've had lunches, I've had coffee, I've been in office meetings, I've done phone calls, and every single attorney has told me exactly what you said, which was, if you can eliminate some of this mindless administrative drag that they're trying to eliminate, you'll be my guy. I'll call you every time. I'll send you my clients. You take care of it. I know that you'll treat them well. 
because you know what you're doing. And I can say, hey, here's a partner that we have who is certified in probate, who understands this process and who will bring to bear in this process anything that you need relative to personal property, real property, like that, that can help you go through this process, he can do. And then on top of it, you introduced me to the software and that has just, that's where you're going to go first. That has just been, uh, attorneys are like, whoa, I can get this. I show them those reports and it is, it, it closes the deal every time. So for anyone who's, who's new to this and hasn't taken the course, the very first part of the course teaches you so just for context. So you understand, because you don't know what you don't know. What I've coached people on for years, but have never really taught was, you know, here's why it's hard to be an estate attorney. Like here's the, here's what it looks like in the daily struggle and really getting you into the mindset to acknowledge that they are small business owners. They're not bigger than now idols. Like we've been conditioned to think they're they're small business owners who struggle every day, just like we do. And getting in that mindset is step one. Step two is solving their biggest problems. And the biggest problem that I've seen in the industry is, is well, the, the single biggest problem I think is serving a potential client base that is unwilling to accept the valuable service they provide. And what I mean, is how many people do you know sit around talking about their death plan? Like I do with my friends, because we wealth planning and legacy planning. And like I have had a death plan, an aging plan and death plan since my mid thirties, but they're serving a prospect who doesn't really want to be served. They don't really want to sit down and go through the pain of one, talking about it two implementing it. So it's a very challenging career. So in the course, we, we look at kind of, here's what an attorney's day looks like. Here are their biggest problems. And here are some really creative ways to provide value as a solution. And the software integration, did you see the interview that Dan Stickle and I did? Yes, I did. Yeah. So where we're headed with this is even more exciting. And if you haven't already, contact Dan's team and get yourself built into the checklist. So anytime somebody in the Northern Virginia area uses a state exec, whether you provided it or not, you'll be the, the local certified probate expert. And we're going to move to where we can actually build your entire team like that, that vertical integration into your own personalized checklist. So you talk about a wow factor when you make contact with a personal representative, get them to load the assets, the liabilities, all the errors with as much as the heirs, Facebook profiles and, and, you know, cell phone numbers, like everything literally in one place. Then when you approach an attorney, oh, by the way, I've got this family that, that really needs, needs help. And I have everything that you're going to need to file the petition and see it through the initial hearing and damn near to closing. It's already done. You are going to make an impression. I promise you. They have never met a real estate professional that has proactively coached their legal clients through the administrative steps they need to take in order to move the case through. So you're going to bring efficiency to their business like they've never had before. And I don't give a damn if they have three realtors and three investors they're currently referring to. You're about to earn all that business. And that was why I chose the acronym of EARN, like by providing value, you can earn the business instead of paying for it or begging for it. So that's really awesome. So I want to talk about how long it, like from the day you bought the course, how long was it until you've completed the last module? And then when you took action and actually went and met with six, not one guys, he met with six attorneys right off the bat and then two title companies. So that's eight appointments. So how long did this take just for, for everyone else who's been sitting on their hands saying, I don't have time to finish it right now. Start well, to finish. How long was the course? And then how long did it take you to get through those appointments? I am a bit of a night owl and I bought the course and I had finished the course with the two night sessions. I had come home, finished work, put the kids to sleep. And I, I went through the courses twice just because when I started listening, you were, you were speaking my language and I was like, this is exactly where to go. If you want to get the referrals to beat everybody else who is racing to the courthouse or trying to find out through other online lead sources, et cetera, if you go to the attorney, they are one of the ones who are probably closest with that PR. And if the PR comes and says, Hey, I have, you know, attorney or I have real estate agent or investor X, Y, and Z over here that says this, the attorney is going to go, well, that's good. 
but I really recommend that you at least talk to my friend, Brian. My friend, Brian is certified in probate. He does this all the time. He has an entire team. Nothing falls through the cracks. We work in a very good symbiotic relationship and he's going to take care of you better than anybody else off the street. When I started seeing that come through the course and knowing that we can provide a differentiator to these attorneys, I just, I was so excited. The next day I was on the phone asking people, who is your favorite estate attorney? Who would you recommend? Who should I be talking to about this business that I'm building? And it just, it's fantastic. No, that's such a great question. So I was coaching, one of my friends just left the, the DMV, like the Maryland side of your market, and he moved to Phoenix. And we were talking about how he could quickly build a network. And I said, I, there's a question. I just made this up when I moved from Hawaii to Roanoke, Virginia, and had knew nobody. When I would meet someone I respected, I would say, who are three people that you think I absolutely have to meet? And, and then I would, I would get their numbers, right? And I would say, you know, within the next 12 hours, can you email or text me their name and phone number of three people you think I absolutely must know? And the, the filter was, I wouldn't ask that question to anyone I didn't respect. Um, you're not going to click with everybody you meet. But I really like that if you don't know where to start, I mean, the EARN course gives you multiple ideas, but if you don't know where to start in your networking, just start with, look at your phone. What professional have you spoken with in the last seven days? Call them back and ask them, hey, do you know any estate attorneys? What's the one that you think I really need to meet? It can be that simple. We talked about the more complex ways of networking and, and ideas, but what if you just simply call your current sphere of influence and say, do you know any estate attorneys? Like, which one should I know? So I think that's really awesome. So this, the, the earn course right now, when we're recording this is around seven hours of content. And Brian was able to knock that out in two nights and on the, on the third day. So within 36 hours, he was taking real action and speaking with attorneys of those six that you've reached out to, you've had six meetings or conversations. Yes. Six meetings, six conversations with real attorneys doing this work. And it's been, it's been great. I already have referrals coming in. I do not have an active listing, but I am already in conversations and already on the radar for PRs. So I know that the pipeline is building and it, And they all own real estate. They all own real estate. And you're helping the attorney and helping them. Who do you think is getting the, who's getting the real estate deal? I believe that I will get the real estate. <laughs> I think, I think you've already got it. And that's the point I keep trying to drive home to people. Everyone's trying to get a deal when they buy probate leads or when they buy a probate course. That's the wrong focus. You need to be focused on getting trust and then the deals are all yours. Like all you have to do is get attorneys and families to trust you and, and find your offer valuable and you'll, you'll get the deals. They just come to you. So if anyways, I won't get on that soapbox right now, <laughs> but so how long did it take to have those six conversations with those attorneys? How many days was that? Do you think I had all those conversations within two days? Okay. We're talking about four days, guys, from realizing that there was a course on how to build a referral network with attorneys to taking the course, to realizing it wasn't bullshit, to being excited to take action, to actually getting six, six relationships and inbound referrals, four days. In the next four days, you could do this. That's amazing, Brian. So this is, this is a story I want to I want every student to be able to tell or everyone who's even, even watching this. I'm really proud of you for doing that. That's amazing that you were able to do it. And uh, I hope that a lot of other people can, can be inspired. What would your advice be to someone who's just considering probate? I would tell you two things. Number one, when you take a course like this, or when you're looking to take a course like this, you're looking to elevate your level of expertise above whatever level your client has. So you want to be someone that becomes a trusted advisor. The only way to do that is through education or through experience. And so the course gives you that accelerated opportunity to learn through education. And then through experience, you become even more of an expert. So I would tell anybody who hasn't done it, first of all, get the education. Secondly, build the relationships inside this world. Ask a question, either first of all, go to your own trust attorney. And if you haven't already established a will or a trust yourself, go get one. And get in them. 
develop you're you're the first referral for anyone if you don't have a living trust you are the first referral go get them right amen <laughs> so go go get one have conversations develop that relationship and then number two and i heard this from another one of your coaches chad go to your local courthouse go sit through a session of probate at the courthouse you will listen you will learn you will meet, you will network. If this is a business that you're interested in, educate, learn, network. That is, that is it. And once you become known as someone who is focused on this, because this is a niche that not everyone is focused in, not everybody is comfortable in. Once you become known as an expert in this niche, it's very easy for people that, to then turn and say, hey, you know who, you know who can help us in this? Brian can help us. It may not have to do with real estate. It may have to do with, hey, we've got this unbelievable situation over here. We've never seen it before. Let's call Brian. Maybe he's seen it before. And maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But because you're developing the networks, you can begin to say, hey, let me, let me go take a look at that and I'll get back in touch with you. And then, Chad, you've already built a network of experienced probate experts around the country. And we all network together online anyway. So if we have something that we've never seen before, what a great way to ask the question or to bring it up in the weekly calls or to go onto Facebook. So the network is there and don't be afraid. Just take that, take this step, do the training and call and get going. That's the, that's the thing. I, I'm shocked that you told me we have people who have bought this course and haven't taken it yet. That's, uh, that's a super shocking step. I know, like I, I released the course. I went to Europe for three weeks, come back. And I was like, all right, everybody's going to be finished and charged up. And it was like 70, 70 students had completed out of 250 that bought like in the, in the pre-launch. And I'm like, what is happening here? And I think it, it's back to school. It's, 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 it's grab that last chance to get a summer vacation. Like I think a lot of folks bought it, like eagerly purchased it, and they're just not taking the time. Those are the ones that I want to get into next. So you gave good advice for someone who's just considering the niche. Now, get on your tallest soapbox and tell all of your peers, all those people in the community with you that have purchased this course and are still sitting on their hands. I think they get the point already. In four days, you, you got a, a better result than 99% than of real estate professionals in the country will ever get. So what's your advice to those people who put it under their pillow, but the referral ferry hasn't showed up yet? It's all about relationships. I would say to you, if you have not called your own trust attorney or a second trust attorney, if you haven't asked your CPA, who do you use? If you haven't asked your neighbor, do you have a trust? Who do you use? Who do you recommend? That to me was the absolute best question. And I ask it almost everywhere now, because if I'm out to lunch with somebody, if I'm on a, a showing, if I'm on a, a listing appointment, I'll say, hey, do you have a recommendation for a trust attorney? They'll say, absolutely, call John. This is, this is him, I'll give you his information. Great. If they go, what's that? I go, do you, ha are, do you have a trust? You, you, this piece of real estate should be in a trust. You should have this in a trust. Let me. Let me give you this name and number. And then I call my trust attorneys and I say, hey, I'm going to list this house. They're not in a trust. I would recommend that you reach out to them. They're open to an initial conversation. So it goes both ways, but make the call. Find one. As soon as you find one, just have the conversation. Tell me about what you're doing. Tell me what is your biggest challenge in your business and how can I help you? Start asking attorneys that. They will be on you will be on their top of mind the next time a referral is available. You'll be the first one, the, certainly the first real estate professional that's ever asked them that. Probably the first professional in general. I don't even think business coaches have the courage to approach attorneys. And I think it's one of the most underserved coaching markets probably in the world. In real estate, everybody's a coach for, you know, an expert. But you don't see that much in the law field like coaching on customer acquisition, marketing, you know, inbound, outbound marketing. So you can present yourself as, you know, as, as a referral source, as a, as a marketing assistant, like you can help co-market with them. You can bring so much value to these attorneys and they're not being approached with a million offers a day. Like we are in real estate. Real estate is, you know, compared to law is basically unregulated. Um, attorneys have, you know, like financial services, it's, it's more regulated. They have higher standards of professionalism because of bar rules. 
So they're not used to being bombarded by every guy, every guy on YouTube offering coaching or, you know, these services or those services. So when you actually step up and offer something like that, they can take action on that day. Like I can talk to this referral and do business, or I can log into this software and see the quality of this person's client, the, the referrals he's sending me. They've never seen that before. Most people come in the office with their me, me, me badge on, like wearing their name tag with, you know, Hey, I mean, it's Chad, I'm with Remax. I did this many deals last year. My broker is blah, blah, blah. We have X number of agents. He doesn't give a damn about that. That doesn't help him with his business at all. Like when you go in, make sure you're talking about their business, not your business and itself differentiates you and you got them, you got their attention. One of my favorite things is when you take someone that's very doubtful, they heard about building a referral network and probate mastery, they're hitting a wall with their direct mail campaigns, or they just have call reluctance and don't want to make their calls. Anyone who's struggling on the marketing to the PR side, I immediately say, okay, let's just shift gears. Like you're going to quit. If you try to make yourself do this, willpower doesn't work. Ben Hardy. If you try to force yourself to do this, you'll eventually quit and say it doesn't work. And we both know that's not true. So let's focus your attention on a different way of earning business. And I'll take them, I'll coach them on the attorney, like on approaching attorneys. Typically what I do is I'll have them make a list of 10 get, you know, put a drive app on their phone, lay the addresses out in the most efficient route, and then take an entire day and just drive around visiting those firms. And I've yet to have a single student anywhere in the United States. I've, I've done this in Midtown Manhattan and rural Colorado and the middle of nowhere, Nebraska. Um, I've yet to see a single student get, get stumped or, or snubbed and not come back with an attorney relationship. So it's really, I, I can't wait to see like when this course is actually, you know, out there and, and more people have, have taken action like Brian, like the impact that it will actually make. I think it'll shift the industry, I honestly do. And we're currently building a, a, an estate professionals directory that will roll out, I believe next week, next Thursday, I think is when we're be, be done. So we are creating a new standard of service in law and real estate and, and every aspect of this, because we think it's needed. Like that's, that's the calling. So the network that you're part of the state professionals, mastermind, probate mastery alumni, we've, we've worked damn hard to keep integrity and, and, and value and differentiation in that. And now we're, we're really bringing the attorneys into this. I'll give you a hint, Brian, hopefully by the end of first quarter, you'll be able to go to your attorneys and say, here's a digital course that will take all the administrative drag out of your business. I'll, I'll license it to your firm, give it to every, every client because they have to have that initial conversation over and over and over. So here are the documents you need. Here's the timeline. You need to get them to me. And my paralegal will be harassing you on a daily basis until we have these things. And if we can actually imagine how professional it would be if the attorney had a 20 hour course that would literally step by step by step for your market, walk them through everything. And it's just, you know, them being explained to them one little piece at a time, no matter how stressed or no matter how sophisticated or, or not sophisticated they are, the course will be designed in such a way that it will take all the anxiety and worry away from personal rep. It'll take all the administrative drag off of the law firm and you'll be able to one to get the business and social credit for handing it out for free. And that's, that's the consumer impact piece we've been trying to get to. So that that's where we're headed with this is tying together the consumer experience, the attorney experience and the real estate, you know, professionals, so, you know, we're always talking about it from the aspect of real estate. But that was part of what earn was, was really bringing the attorneys into the fold where we can all you know, benefit greater from working together. And then the estate exec partnership that has a lot of, a lot of room to grow too. I think, I think you'll be excited to see where that's headed. Well, I'm going to let you get back to your day. Any uh, parting words you have, parting advice for, for anyone who who's watching this? I, I would just say, take action. It's you have done all the hard work for us, Chad. You've laid it out for us. This is I, sometimes I, I tell clients to my own detriment, what we're doing is not rocket science, but it does take a certain level of understanding, a certain level of empathy, and a certain level of relationship building in order to be successful. And it, we can all do it. We're all already doing that as real estate agents. Now we're just becoming 
laser focused on probate and clients and attorneys and just take action. It's as laid out for success as it can be. One, two, three, do it. I did it in less than I did it in less than a week, and I know that you can too. And got the result in less than a week. Like I love your story. I, I want so many more of these. So obviously, guys, you can connect if you're a certified probate expert. You can connect with Brian and Probate Mastery Alumni Group. Facebook group. If you're in the general public, if you're not part of our group, you can find him in the state professionals mastermind. Any other more specific contact information you want to share, Brian, if anyone wants to reach out to you, you, you can find me online, Brian Wilson, hybrid agent. You can find me everywhere. Okay. So if you guys, if you're inspired by this and you'd like to pay Brian back and give him some of your best ideas or collaborate, if you're in the, in the DMV area and, and want to connect, please reach out to him, the state professionals mastermind or Google Brian Wilson, North Arlington, and you should be able to find him. But thanks so much for, for sharing your story. I hope for the rest, for everyone watching, I hope this was inspirational and you realized, oh, hell, maybe I can do this this week. Maybe I'm not as busy as I let on. Go back and add up the hours of YouTube or television you watched in the last week if you purchased this course and, and haven't taken it. And then uh, set an accountability goal for yourself. Brian, thank you so much for uh, for sharing your story. I can't wait to do a follow-up when you really got this rolling. Look what you've done in a week. What the hell are you going to do in 12 months? I look forward to future interviews. Thanks for being a part of our community and sharing with everybody. My pleasure, Chad. Thank you. All right. Have a great day.